Huh. Hey, so, oh my gosh, I've watered my eyes. Okay, so it's a beautiful day out, so I thought, why not film the intro to this video outside? And now I realize that was a very bad idea because I'm soaked and I can't touch my camera, and I have no idea whether it's exposed right or not, but, you know, we'll hope for the best. I just stuck my hand in a spider web. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about uh, measuring distances with the camera. This is part two to a series I, um, I'm doing about measuring distances with the camera. And last week we made the video of the code and the script, which is on the math, to be able to do this. And this week we're gonna be actually testing it uh, with a camera and measuring some distances outside. We're gonna do some close-up ones, some far away ones, just sort of measure the accuracy of this method. And it is a very beautiful day, but it is wicked hot. So not sure how long we're gonna be able to do this. Hopefully this wind will help cool me down. But I'm gonna go ahead, get out, get dried off, and we'll get started with the video. <sighs> This sweater is freezing, so now I'm cold. I was hot before I got in. It's just, it's either one or the other. It's never just a good temperature. It's always just extremely hot, extremely cold. What's with that? Get it together, Earth. Okay, so I'm done swimming, all dried off, and we're ready to start measuring. So we've got our tape measure and our Oreo, and we have something to measure, which is that gate. So I'm gonna run up and get a measurement of the size of the gate, and then measure the distance to the camera. My tape measure's not long enough. Okay, so the distance from the camera sensor which you can find by this marking on the side of your camera, to the gate is roughly 395 inches. The height of the gate itself is roughly 49.5. All right, so I took the photo and I zoomed my lens all the way up to 55 millimeters, and the gate was still in frame, so that's all good. So our first photo was a 55 millimeter with the height of whatever I said and the distance of whatever I've said. We don't, again, we don't have to measure the distance. I'm just doing that here to test how accurate this method is for measuring the distances. All right, now let's find some more things to measure. I feel so industrial. So let's face it, we've all been there. You have a horse and it's in the yard and you didn't know the distance exactly to it. And it's deathly scared of tape measures, so you of course can't measure it. What do you do? Well, of course you pull out a DSLR and measure the focal length and take a photo of it. My gosh, there's so many ants. Okay, we're gonna try to measure uh, this horse here. Well, I probably can't get a tape measure anywhere near it, um, but I'm gonna try to take a photo of it and I think I might be able to find out the height of the horse. Um, hey dad, do you know how tall Cheyenne is? 14, um, three. Hands? What is that in inches? Uh, like how much is a hand? Is uh, three to four inches, I think. I might be able to look it up and find out yep. what the official is. Thank you. Okay, so I took the photo. It's walking away now. Um, but the photo was taken at 55 millimeters. I'm very interested to see if this is gonna work. Okay, we are now inside and I have imported the photos into my laptop. We can go ahead and measure the numbers and plug it into our script that we made in the first video. And I've gone ahead and converted all of our measurements into millimeters to work with our script. So I'll go ahead and open that up and start inputting our variables. The photo was taken at 55 millimeters and we are of course measuring in height. The uh, gate height was 1,257 millimeters and that height in the photo in pixels was 1,575 pixels. According to the calculator, the distance to it should have been 10,181. And according to my measurements in real life, it was actually 10,033 millimeters. So that's actually a great margin of error. That's a margin of error of about 150 millimeters. That's about that much. So I'd say that is pretty good uh, just for the math. Next, let's go ahead and look at the photo of the horse. Now I asked my parents and they said they think the horse is about 14.5 hands and each hand is worth about four inches. Therefore, the height of the horse is roughly 1,473 millimeters. Now the height of the horse is measured from the withers. Uh, so I went ahead and went to the photo and measured that and it came out to about 1,144 pixels. 
So I plugged that into the script and we got a total distance of 16,425 millimeters. Now the actual distance that I measured just by walking it out was about 19,202. So much less accurate than our first measurement. But again, there's a lot more rough estimating going on with these variables and we're still in the ballpark. But again, this was all much more rough estimate than our first thing. So this just goes to show you really what I was talking about in the first video. Um, the accuracy of the final number really is dependent on the accuracy of each input variable. All right, I think that will about do it for this video. Sorry it took me so long to get part two out from the first video, but now we finally have this project finished and we can go ahead and move on. Although I do think it was a pretty interesting project. I thought it was just a really cool, unique idea and it was really interesting learning about all the math behind it. Which by the way, if you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and click up here to go watch that where I build the script and go into more detail about the math. Let me know down in the comments your experience if you decided to try this out, and also let me know if you have any ideas for future videos. I'm Shai, thanks for watching. That's all thanks to just 3D printing filament boxes because I don't have a Gorilla Pod because Gorilla Pods are stupid.